Hi everyone, in a previous video we looked at covalent bonds and ionic character and here I just want to give one more example of calculating ionic character. So from our last video you might remember that ionic character can be calculated using an equation like this. This is not the only equation that's available to make these kinds of calculations. But we take one and we subtract E raised to the minus one-fourth x sub a minus x sub b, and this whole thing is squared. And these two fellows here, x a and x b, are the electronegativities of elements a and b that are being bonded to one another. Uh, we take the difference of their electronegativities, square it, and multiply by minus one-fourth. That's all raised, uh, 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 e is raised to that power subtract one and we have ionic character. So the example we're going to look at here is the compound Al2O3. So for this example here, we're looking at how aluminum and oxygen are bonded to one another. It ends up the two and the three don't matter. These do not enter into the equation. Uh, it's aluminum that's bonding to oxygen by either transferring or sharing oxygens. Uh, and with ionic character, we're assuming that it's really a combination of both. The bonds are not purely ionic or purely covalent. And so it's really just how aluminum is interacting with oxygen. So it doesn't matter what the ratios are. Uh, those are defining charge balance for the compound. Uh, so it doesn't really uh, have any effect on the calculation. Aluminum has an electronegativity of 1.5. Oxygen has an electronegativity of 3.5. Let's call this one A and this one B. So XA minus XB would be equal to 2. Uh, and again, we can carry through the minus sign. If we call this one XA instead, it would disappear when we squared. So if we take this whole thing and square it, then that would be 4. And if we take that whole thing and multiply it by minus one-fourth, then we would get minus one. And so in going back to our earlier equation where ionic character is equal to one minus e to whatever the exponent is, in this case that exponent is minus one, uh, just if you're following through doing the calculations on a in a calculator, e to the minus 1 is equal to 0 0.368. So this would equal to 0 0.632. So that means the aluminum and oxygen bond are 63.2% ionic. And the balance would be covalent. That balance would be this part here, the 0.368, or as a percent, 36.8% covalent. So again, there are other ways of calculating the ionic character, the, the amount or degree to which two, at, two atoms are bonding to one another by either transferring or sharing electrons. Uh, this is a way to do it when electron negativities are given, and they often are. Practically all periodic charts will give you this information. So it's a very nice way to make some very simple and easy predictions about how two atoms might interact with.